Namaste. Well, I've been thinking a lot and boy, how to put this. In a sense, I've like reached a major threshold, a major milestone in my own personal spiritual development to the point where when I think of doing some sadhana, immediately the response comes up, but why? You know, what could I possibly get out of it? I feel like I've really reached the end of the path. And uh, it's a big deal uh, for me personally, but uh, as far as what we're doing, uh, I want to talk about the impact on the channel. Now, first I want to say that I'm really impressed by the work you guys are doing on matrix learning. The uh, freeform board is just amazing. I'm very pleased, and I think it's a good sign that we're headed in the right direction. Um, but I also have the very strong impression that we need to make a strategic shift, a big strategic shift. What I've been doing so far is basically keeping a journal, a video journal, a vlog, if you will, about the realizations and um, the knowledge and stuff that I've been investigating personally. And of course, that doesn't necessarily match up with what other people need. Especially, you know, since getting into the really high, really advanced notions around non-duality and stuff like that, a lot of people just aren't ready for it. I think with Noli, we have a breakthrough in the sense that we can start at the top. It can be a top-down rather than bottom-up approach. Now, that's both a problem and an opportunity. The problem is, it's really completely different from all the stuff that's gone on the channel so far. To be honest, a lot of what's on the channel is, you know, like stuff I threw at the wall hoping some of it would stick. <laughs> It hasn't been really like a comprehensive, well thought out marketing strategy, you know. I'm adjusting my pillow here. Um, it's been more like, well, this year I'm into X. Catch me if you can. I mean, yeah, I the channel does have a sort of a structure with the foundation series and matrix learning in the beginning, and then all these other things coming after it in some kind of ascending order. But it's an ascending order from my perspective, according to my path, and it might not be appropriate for another person or persons. In fact, it almost certainly wouldn't be. So what winds up happening is that there's like over a thousand videos on this channel and people may come and recognize that, oh, here's somebody who knows what he's talking about. But then they get overwhelmed and lost. Maybe jumping from one series to another, just from YouTube's recommendation algorithm. I don't know. But I suspect that's what happens. And very few people are like downloading the Dharmasar video guide and going through the whole channel methodically, you know, from the beginning. 
So what to do? I think with Noli, we have the opportunity to completely restructure the experience of approaching spiritual knowledge. In other words, if Noli just becomes yet another series, even with the addition of the online courses, which is a big increase in value, no doubt. But if it just becomes another in a long series of yeah, sort of vaguely connected, but not really uh, strategically designed series, then the result we get is not going to be any different than the result we've gotten so far, which is out of so many thousands of people who came to view the channel, only you guys are actively working with me. That's not acceptable. I mean, it's acceptable for you to work with me. I'm really happy about it. <laughs> and I want it to continue in the future. But the fact that only two out of so many thousands, I mean, really tens of thousands of people who have visited the channel and only two are actively involved, you know, that's not a very good batting average. Or uh, to use the proper term, conversion rate. So we have to redesign the experience of the channel. And so I think it should be highly structured that maybe you come across a video on YouTube, you know, a new user, or maybe we start posting on, I don't know, Instagram or something like that. We're designing videos, short videos, especially for that. Uh, but somehow or other promoting it and having a landing page at now.ly and uh, with some kind of a structured approach, right? Where there's some kind of a free intro course and then some kind of follow-up courses, you know, whatever it is, leading to some kind of a community experience association, and so on. And at the same time, it can't be too overwhelming to us personally, you know, to where it eats up a lot of time and energy. We want to have, especially I want to have, I want to enjoy my retirement, you know. I want to enjoy my old age. I don't want to be working as if I was, you know, uh, some kind of consultant, at least when I actually was a consultant, I made money from it, you know, <laughs> this and not even getting paid and doing all this grunt work. It's, it's not really appropriate for someone in my position. So um, we need to recruit people. Another thing that has come up in uh, astrological analysis is that with Saturn going into my 12th house and especially Aquarius and aspecting squaring Jupiter, my natal Jupiter in the ninth house, um, it's likely that we're going to see an increase in attacks probably, you know, from the good old devotees. Um, I need to keep a low profile. I need to withdraw uh, so that these guys, to minimize the attack surface, as the computer security guys call it, the attack surface, the vulnerable areas, um, where they can attack. 
And this would be like, especially any videos that talk about entheogens or tantric sexual practices or, you know, anything that could be leveraged to produce some bad press, you know, to, uh, to make some more black propaganda videos like some of them that some of them that you've seen and like that. So uh, I'm thinking to uh, prune the tree of the Dharmasar channel and make a lot of the videos, if not most of the videos, uh, private. And only share them with people who have a demonstrated need for them. Which means having a personal counseling relationship with them and, you know, uh, guiding their progress and like that. And when they have issues that uh, these different videos address, to then refer them, uh, you know, with a link. Uh, so the reason I'm proposing all these things in a video and uh, please just keep this video among the two of you um, the reason I'm proposing in a video is to give several days for you to think it over before our meeting our next Saturday video conference and also, if you have any questions or doubts, there's time to um, ping me on Signal and discuss them. But uh, what I'd like to do, the direction I'd like to set, is to come up with a new strategy, a structured approach to NOLI, such that you know, we have a, a real marketing funnel. And uh, I'm not going to take any videos down, but I might make some series private, especially some, some of the more controversial stuff, uh, just to reduce the amount of ammunition available to people who might attack me. Um, not that I'm going to, you know, I've got double backups of everything, plus uh, it's on the uh, Internet Archive. Those guys aren't smart enough to search for Internet Archive, so <laughs> they're probably not going to find anything. Um, so I, I feel safe about leaving everything on the Archive for future reference, you know. But as far as YouTube, because it's so easily searchable, um, I'm going to take down all the controversial stuff. Not take it down, make it private. And I'm not sure what to do about the playlists, because the playlists can still access the videos uh, if I make them, what is it, unlisted. Um, so I'm going to also make some of the playlists private. People won't be able to find those videos uh, by searching. Um, this has been something that has like been on my mind for a long time. And I wanted to wait and see what the influence of Saturn in my 12th house is going to be. And that move comes on the 17th, only a week away. So there's a lot that's still unclear. Saturn is still Vargotama, which means it's like in between two signs and it's kind of confusing what is what. But uh, one of the readings for Saturn going into the uh, Aquarius for my Lagna or, or Moon is a new beginning. Jupiter is in my first house. Jupiter rules Pisces 
where my Lugna is. And Saturn rules Aquarius, or it not rules it, but it's its Matricona, it's a friend's house, um, where my sun, moon, and Mercury are. So Saturn is going to be going right over my sun, moon, and Mercury coming up at the same time squaring my natal uh, Jupiter. So for me, it seems like it's not a time to expand, but a time to contract and a time of discipline. You know, I'm working out every day. I'm putting most of my energy into that, which is why I don't have so much left over for making videos. Uh, but there's more to it than that. It's also about seeing how this, this strategy that I've been following for the last 10 years hasn't really delivered the kind of results that I want, that I need, which is like a thriving community based on this teaching. And also, uh, the user experience is not very good. It's like, okay, you find one of our videos on the um, recommended list or on the home page of YouTube, and then you visit the channel and you're plunked into the middle of this ocean, <laughs> you know, with no clear direction. And it's tough, it's confusing. So we wanna do something to make it less confusing. Um, more easy for people and where I don't have to be like the only personality, the main personality uh, associated with the teaching. And also Noli should be from the very beginning uh, positioned or cast or characterized as an inclusive universal knowledge that includes all other types of sadhana and yoga and consciousness and other paths. In other words, no one is our enemy. Huh? Maybe we don't think much of ISKCON, for example. And certainly they have been uh, a problem in so many ways. But at the same time, they are giving a teaching that is useful and valuable to a certain segment of the population. It was useful and valuable for me at a certain stage of my life. Yes, I outgrew it and I had to move on. But at the time when it was appropriate, it was very helpful. It, it set me up in a lot of ways for a successful professional life and personal life and spiritual life. So, you know, um, we can't say that they're wrong or that they're bad. You know, even if some of the people associated with that teaching are individually bad, the teaching itself has some value. We have to admit, admit and accept that and support people who are at that stage. You know, with the caveats that be careful of organizational politics and blah, blah, blah. But that's just one example. There are many more. If someone is a Christian or a Jew or, a, you know, considers themselves a Hindu, whatever that is, <laughs> and, uh, you know, wants to learn Noli, that's fine. We should support them to understand consciousness. And then I think the learning course, Matrix Learning, is has tremendous value, and that I would not be against monetizing it. You guys need an income that will free you from doing, you know, menial labor jobs and uh, also support, directly support your efforts in self-realization. 
And, you know, I mean, maybe it won't be enough of an income to live in the U.S., but hey, you can live here. It's cheap. You know, uh, if we could get something going with around matrix learning and make it like a, uh, how can I say, like a, like a tutoring service or something, uh, not that you would have to personally tutor people, but that uh, we could recommend people who are having trouble in school, for example, or trouble uh, with their job, keeping up with technology. You know, these are all uh, legitimate applications of matrix learning and could be monetized, you know, like a short free intro course followed by a paid course that gives, you know, the real, um, the whole essence of the thing. Like maybe like an intro summary course to matrix learning that, you know, gives the overview for free. And then, okay, if you want to really get into this, then, you know, only $99.99, <laughs> a $500 value. <laughs> you know, hey, it's the real world. We all have to eat. Uh, it's not overtly spiritual or religious. Although it, of course, does use elements of spiritual philosophy and so on. But because it has broad application outside of spiritual life, I think it's fair to charge for it. And, you know, maybe if somebody is really like serious about Noli, maybe we give them, you know, a big discount or something like that. But I think it's fair to charge for it. A, it's because it has wide application and B, because people don't value things that are free. It's wrong, it's stupid, it's bad, but that's the way it is. People don't value things that are free. So we want them to value this knowledge. We want them to take it seriously, put in a good effort and learn it in their life. So, uh, Anyway, that's, I, I think that you guys should make this course, put your best effort into it, and, and turn it into a small business. So I'm making all these proposals, and, you know, I'm not dictating, I'm suggesting. So you should think about it, talk about it, and then on Saturday when we, or you know, Saturday morning, <laughs> it's Saturday evening for me, uh, when we get together, we can discuss and uh, move forward from there. Because I'm really happy with the work you're doing. And uh, I think it should have a wide audience and uh, it should be a commercial success as well. Okay, so that's it for my two cents. Om Tatsa. Namaste. Om Namah Shivaya.